This time of year, talk of seeds, brackets, and Cinderella's can be heard around the office. It's sports talk for March Madness. Janelle Walton takes you to Bracket Picking 101 around town. For University of Cincinnati professor Mike Magazine, picking the NCAA tournament bracket isn't just a guessing game. Any, many, miny, mo. It's a science this mathematician has turned into a three-day course called Bracketology. We go through a lot of mathematics in trying to show how we can take all of those 347 teams and say which ones will beat which ones. Mike says sports fans have a method to the madness before tip-off. Should you consider star power? Certainly losing a player, a key player, can make a real difference. But the notion of star power in college just isn't the same as it is in, in, in the pros. Gambling on the coach could be a safe bet. It seems like certain coaches just manage to get there. Mike says if all else fails. You can also ask your four-year-old or your pet and put down two treats and see which one they go to. There's one team I'm counting on advancing. On this one, root for the hometown team. I'm going for UC also. Looking for a fun and educational project this weekend? Then grab the hammer and nails. A simple nest box could attract beautiful bluebirds to your yard. Jim Mundy works to build and improve nesting areas for bluebirds. Here in the Hamilton County Park District, we have nearly 300 bluebird boxes that our uh, volunteers monitor for us each year. The easy to build nest boxes provide a safe place for bluebirds to raise their young, but Jim says they aren't the only feathered friends that will flock to your yard. You can get house wrens, you can get uh, Carolina wrens, Carolina chickadees, a host of cavity nesters that also benefit from the bluebird boxes. The tiny tenants are ready to move in this week, so open the doors to your birdhouse soon. For The List, I'm Janelle Walton.